I'm Dr. Arundhati Banerjee. I'm a pediatric neurologist and I'm a visiting consultant in Bhagirathi Neotia, Newtown. So here, uh, I'm here to discuss pediatric epilepsy today. So I mean, there are many myths and mysteries behind this entity. So what is epilepsy? Epilepsy is actually the enduring predisposition to have seizures. In children, we commonly encounter this. And etiologically, we can divide or we can classify also epilepsy in terms of various classifications. Like depending on the age of onset, there can be many types. There can, and epilepsy can also be associated with fever or it can be afebrile as well. There can be a genetic basis, there can be a structural basis. There are several entities to its classification. So the important thing is there are many types of seizures which can occur in sleep as well as in awake state. So it is very important for parents to actually recognize this entity and then come to a neurologist at its earliest. Because the earlier we treat such children, the, the better will be the outcome and the better will be the neurodevelopmental outcome of these patients. Now, the thing is that we have to identify the situation and it is best if the parents themselves, they make a home video even if they are not certain about these movements. So if they notice anything that is abnormal in their children, be it in sleep or in awake state, and they make a video, because all of us are equipped with camera mobiles these days, so it is best to make a home video of these and then give it to the practicing doctor or the neurologist. Because then to classify these seizures and to place them in a syndromic classification which helps in giving appropriate drugs at appropriate doses would also be possible and will be feasible. Now coming to the treatment. The treatment part has always had an element of fear for the parents because there are many drugs and they may be fraught with its side effects as well. But it's not that we have to always uh, weigh the risk and the benefit of the, of the treatment. The drugs may have side effects but it is more harmful for a child to have continuous seizures and not be treated. So it is best to have them treated and treated appropriately by an appropriate neurologist and we should start at a timely manner. And the crux of the treatment is that whatever is prescribed, appropriate drugs should be given on a regular basis. The drugs that have been prescribed to the parents should also, they should make in, uh, ensure that these drugs are given at appropriate intervals and they should not be missing a drug, not even for a single day. The other things that we usually advise is, please do not change brands. The brands should not be changed as well and they should adhere to these treatments. And the other information that is more important for the parents is how they should manage such an emergency in the home setting as well. So there are some home remedies that we generally advocate. There are intranasal preparations of anticonvulsant drugs and which we often in these patients we prescribe these drugs and keep also and ask the parents to keep them at hand and always with their child. And if we have in spite of the drugs, if the propensity of having an egg seizure definitely decreases but if we happen to have another seizure at the home setting the crux of it is do not panic please lay your child do not or avoid any mouth to mouth respiration or splashing of water on the child and give an intranasal dose of midazola which is uh, often and commonly available intranasally in appropriate doses as prescribed by a pediatric neurologist so as to abort the seizure. Do not panic and if so, after the administration of this medication, the, uh, in 90% of the cases, it is generally aborted and then you can take your time and take the child to the next health facility as soon as possible or consult your pediatric neurologist. So this in a nutshell is how, it, how you should treat pediatric epilepsy there are comorbidities as well, starting from behavioral issues to cognitive decline. But the crux of it all is that you should treat the epilepsy and not leave such an entity untreated because of the fear. Thank you.